Hi everybody, this is Lizzie, um, my first foray into video. So I'm here today to tell you about unboxing your wig. Um, so this is particularly for people who haven't had a wig before. Um, I just wanted to give you a few little hints and tips to help give you the best experience possible and give you the best chance you can of being really pleased with the wig when you first try it on. Um, first of all, just a little note about discretion. Um, those of us who aren't completely open with everybody we meet about wearing a wig might not want the postman or the neighbours to realise what it is that's arriving at your door. So here is the packaging that arrives. It's completely plain. There's nothing on it to tell anybody what's inside and even the returns label. I don't know if you can see that. Even the returns label doesn't say simply wigs on it. So nobody's gonna know that what's inside is a wig. Now, when you open the box, you'll find your wigs have arrived very nicely packaged and there's a little surprise in there. I won't spoil the surprise by telling you what it is. Um, so a few things I would say before you um, get your wig out of the box. If you normally wear makeup, I would probably make sure you've gone for a sort of um, slightly more bold version of what you normally wear. So um, amp your makeup up a little bit before you try a new wig on. So you've got to remember that you know, you're you're going to be looking different with your new hair. That's what you want. You're, you're hoping for that. But sometimes the makeup colours you use or the amount of makeup you use with whatever you have at the moment, whether you're wearing a headscarf or a different wig, um, that might not work quite so well with your new style. You might have to adjust it. So I tend to find to give myself the best possible chance of liking my new wig straight away, a little bit more makeup. So today, I've just before I started the video, I just put a bit more makeup on. I've been out walking the dog and all sorts, so I um, wasn't wearing a huge amount, so I put more makeup on than I normally would. Second important thing to say is that when you get your wig out of the box, don't put it straight on your head. So normally with wigs, you have to remember they've been packed in a little box, they've been in transit, they might have been in storage for a little while. So you can get all kinds of things happen. Sometimes they look great straight away. Sometimes they can come very flat. Um, I had one once that it was the same style I'd had before, but it looked completely different out of the box. I had to fiddle around with a bit of wig spray and stuff to get, get the right amount of volume in it before it, it looked sort of normal, unlike my previous one. And similarly, sometimes they'll have picked up some static. You can get ones that sort of, you know, come out of the box like this. So don't panic if that happens. It just means that you need to do a little bit more fiddling around than if you've been really lucky and had one that just comes out of the box perfect. But regardless, always give it a shake, give it a little bit of a comb through, um, and then give it another shake before you put it on your head. So I'm now going to do exactly what I've told you not to do, um, which is to get it straight out of the box and try it on. Um, and we'll see what it's like. So as I say, do as I say, not as I do. Um, let's give this a try. Okay, more box. So generally speaking, you will find that your wig comes in a hairnet when you get it out of the box, one hairnet, and with a tag attached. So let's take both of those off. Tags can be a little bit fiddly to untie, but hopefully this one will come off without you having to stand watching me untying a tag for too long. There we go, that was easy. Okay, so, give it a little shake, a little run through with my fingers. As I say, I'm not going to do what I've just advised and do a proper job of comb yet. I would also say, actually, this is a good point, this is quite a curly wig. So you need to treat curly wigs a little bit differently to sort of straight ones like this. Um, you mustn't brush the curls. If you're not, if you're too enthusiastic with a, a normal brush, you'll brush out these nice little curls and, and you'll just end up with a sort of fluffy style. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, but getting it to go back to this isn't as easy as you might hope. I remember when I was a, a teenager having a curly wig um, and getting a bit too enthusiastic with brushing it. Um, and I could never quite get it back to these sort of defined type curls that we've got on this wig. Right, so I'm going to try this on now. Um, so this will be the first time I have balded it in front of anyone other than my husband, probably for years. So consider yourselves either privileged or unfortunate, depending on how you want to view it. So let's take that one off. Now, when you put on a wig, the first thing you do is you get the front, you put it on your forehead, bring the rest of the wig back, 
then adjust at the sides and so on. Um, if you're not used to wig construction, um, you need to know that at the back you will have these little tabs here. These are Velcro adjusters and they allow you to change the size up to an inch or so. So you've got a bit of flexibility on the sizing. Um, while we're here, this is a lace front and this is a monofilament top and then we have wefts at the back. There's plenty of guidance on the Simply Wig site on the different types of construction and when you're looking at different wigs on there I would recommend thoroughly that you look at the what's inside tab on each wigs page because that shows you exactly what's in here and explains the benefits of the different features. So put front to my forehead, pull it back, adjust till it's in the right place in front of my ears. Right, let's have a look. So let's move the hairline just back a little bit, that's better. So straight out of the box we've got a fair bit of sort of um, slightly fumped hairs that I will address with a comb um, and the parting line isn't very defined so this has got a nice mono top so you'll be able to get a really nice natural parting line. So straight out of the box this is looking not quite right but that's easily sorted so we use a comb and this is a wide tooth comb very important that you use something like this that's gentle on the fibres and bear in mind this is a curly wig I'm going to be quite careful about how I comb it so I'm not going to go sort of combing away all over I'm just going to comb these smoother straighter bits at the front because what I'm going to do with this is make use of these nice long flicky layers at the front here and to develop the parting a little bit you see we've got this nice lace front there which goes naturally into a parting so we're going to make use of that and comb out this layer down the side a little bit as well and I'm not going to comb it all over because I want to keep those curls nice and defined as they are at the minute so there we go as we start to play with this we start to get maybe a sort of 60s fringe coming on it a little bit of a flicky bit down this side maybe and just sort of boofing these bits up because we're looking for a load of volume this wig is designed to have a lot of volume it's designed to be a kind of exciting fumpy look so there we go um, I wouldn't say this is the final version I will be continuing to fiddle around with this quite a lot but you can see already um, just a little bit of fingertip styling and a little bit of work with the comb this is already starting to look much more um, as I would have expected as I say a bit more work to do yet but the key things as I say to remember give yourself a couple of days to fiddle with it don't expect it to look right straight off expect to have to change your makeup around um, and when you get it out of the box give it a shake give it a comb um, with due regard to curls give it a bit more of a shake before you start to put it on your head and then once it's on your head you can do lots of fingertip styling and, and, and comb to suit. Okay, I hope that's been helpful.